Welcome back. Next question. So this question's from Lori, and I'm just going to read it to start. She asks, or first she says, I am feeling really scared, overwhelmed, and defeated by the fact that I am supposed to start taking immunosuppressant drugs for arthritis. It's all exacerbated by not having competent or supportive medical professionals. I feel like I'm embarking on this alone. And she realizes there's not a question in there. So then she asks her question, which is, I suppose the question is, do you have any tips to help me view this in a light that keeps me from spinning out? Thank you. Okay. So I would suggest reaching out to a medical professional that supports the avenue that you want to take. Supports your values. Supports your belief system. Maybe they don't agree with it completely, but they at least support and honor the path that you do want to take so that you are not feeling pressured into doing anything. That was my dog. Sorry. (laughs) There's a big truck out front so that you don't feel like you have to do anything that is not aligned with your soul. And just because a practitioner that is not that just because a practitioner that is aligned with your beliefs is not in your immediate area does not mean that you have to work with people who are not aligned. She's not going to stop. Hold on a second. Okay. So if there's not anyone in your area that supports you in the way that you want to work on your healing, reach outside of your area. Okay, so there are many practitioners nowadays that work with people remotely. And this is the beautiful part of social media, the beautiful part of the internet. P.S. Side note, there is now an actual uh, phobia. I, I saw this just the other day. It's called nomophobia, I believe. I'm not exactly sure how they came up with that name, but it's the, like this phobia of not having your phone <laughs> or a computer or internet near you, which is crazy, right? This Our society has evolved like crazy. But the beautiful part of it is that there's practitioners that will work with you remotely. And it is a beautiful thing also for our chronic illness community because many of us, myself included in the past, get triggered by visiting doctor's offices in the first place. So in many ways, you avoid that all completely as you go through the healing. So I can't give you medical advice, but my suggestion would be to build your healthcare team. Build a team with people who support you and your beliefs and your values. Don't feel like you have to do what this doctor is telling you to do. You are the CEO of your goddamn health. You. You are the boss. Just because they have a white coat on does not mean that they are sent down from God. I think we're all light workers <laughs> and we're all from this the universe, but it does not mean that they're somehow a boss to you. Okay, so you are hiring them. And I think so many of us forget this. We forget that we are in charge of our health. We can always say no. We can demand uh, certain things be done within the scope of what that person does. So My main message to you, again, without giving you any specific medical advice, because I can't do that, I'm not a doctor, is to reconsider your medical team and build yourself this little bubble, this council of light here on earth that supports you, your beliefs, your values. I personally, as many of you already know, send everybody to the mindful nutrivore his name is ryan monahan and he is a very skilled practitioner in the field who does work remotely who i personally work with as well and i find it so beneficial to work with him because at least for me he is aligned perfectly with the way that i want to heal my body the process that i want to go through and he is okay with me not wanting to do certain things so Again, I would just zoom out a little bit and allow yourself to see the extensive options that are available to you, but might not be right around the corner from your house and allow yourself to just research those and see if that is a more supportive path for your healing than the one that you're currently on. Okay, zoom out, take that bird's eye view, 
remember that you are the CEO of your health. Okay? Love you.